Let's get remastered. Today, we're going to take a good look at the new HGCE Ale Strike Gundam. This kit takes everything that was wrong with the 2002 high grade Ale Strike Gundam and makes it better. They give us better articulation, better color separation, and just a nice proportionate kit. Now, let's take a look at some articulation. The head and chicken neck look up, look down, tilt side to side, look. 360 degrees. Ah, there's a joint inside the torso that left the shoulder come forward this far and a joint inside the shoulder letting it come that far up. Nice tight swivel below the shoulder. Double jointed elbows. We can almost get 180 degrees. Ball jointed wrist. The torso is on a double ball joint that allows it to look up that far, look down that far. You can kind of sort of jump, actually pretty good side to side. You go around 360 degrees, body copter. The front skirts are molded together. They can be separated. They go up that far. Side skirts come out that far. The back skirts do not move at all. The legs can kick forward that high, kick back only that far, and come out to the side. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Crotch copter! Double jointed knee can get a full 180 degrees. Ball joint on the ankle armor. Ankle rockers. Now there are two joints here. There's a joint up here and a ball joint here. It allows the ankle to point down that far. And come up that far. This guy looks like he's missing something, right? I mean, this is the ale strike. Let's uh get him in the sky. The ale striker pack just fills this guy right out. It looks amazing on his back. Now let's check out some of the articulation of just the yellow striker alone. The wings can come up and go down. The thrusters are on two ball joints. That's it. But man, does it look great. All of that is separate pieces. The only stickers you get are those big red ones. Uh, now let's look at some accessories. Two armor Schneider. Two beam sabers. One beam rifle. And one shield. While this kit is pretty much just taking the Bill Strike Gundam and using its parts to remake the Ale Strike Gundam, it's still a great kit. Getting a newer version of the kit from 2002 was, in my opinion, one of the awesomest things that Bandai could have done. While that kit was pretty decent, using those parts for this kit make this that much better. And I feel that anybody who loves Gundam and Gundam Seed should pick up this kit because it's a great kit. I hope everyone enjoyed this review. I hope you comment, like, and subscribe. But you know what? <laughs> Ah, that hurts sometimes. <laughs> <laughs>